Okay, this is our room. Wait, the uh, oh, it's a one bedroom. This is the bedroom. Very fancy room for a hotel uh, on a school's campus. All right, guys. Hello and good morning. Today we're doing a workday vlog, which is only because we're at an interesting place because we're currently at Luca's alma mater for a career fair kind of thing or specifically he's going to the career fair and I'm just going to be working from the hotel and maybe walking around campus after that because um, I think the career fair ends after five so I'll have like some time to walk around the campus and um, they have a really cool computer science building so I'm going to go and see that as well. Today has been a kind of hectic. Okay, um, just got caught off with some tickets but yeah basically i'll just be taking guys along with my work day today i definitely miss the vibe of a college campus because there's just like people walking around and um socializing which is definitely a lot more than i think you graduate college because there's no longer like one place to centralize and get together for people but yeah um today isn't too hectic of a day besides this morning when i had a few things i had to work out um, but I have a meeting. I have a one-on-one -on -one with my team in about an hour or so and then we're gonna get lunch and then I have a team office hours that I will be attending and then I have another meeting this afternoon. So usually I don't have too many meetings but in the middle of the weekday more meetings than Mondays and Fridays. So that is definitely something to note. But yeah, this is my current setup. Don't want to flash anything confidential but I'm currently just working off of this uh, desk. It kind of suits me very well as like a standing desk because it's just about that height. Um, this is our view from the hotel. It's uh, the rest of the hotel. And I actually really like this room that's like separated out into a one bedroom instead of like how hotels are usually just like a studio looking room. I didn't walk over to this side of the room earlier, but I guess this is like a desk setup I could have used. And there's, there's Luca working and lots of little students walking around. I think there's some kind of event today. I right, we're gonna go get some coffee, probably something basic like pumpkin spice little common area. Very fancy. I tell her. They all like it. Alright, so we're getting breakfast right now. Scrambled eggs, sausage, and toast. And he got a... Egg white omelette. And that is how we start the day. Some uh, hot water. These are good teas. It smells good. Eggs, potatoes, sausage, some toast. This is a huge serving. And then his omelette. Looks so good. I like places that get a lot of ketchup. Alright guys, I am back for breakfast. I have a little bit of time before my next meeting, but basically I'm trying to wrap up a lot of things because I have a conference that I'm attending next week. Yeah, the conference is going to, is going to be most of the week. Um, I'll also be logging in checking my email. I will probably still bring my work laptop with me. I believe I'll be working on Monday and then the rest of the week I won't be. Yeah, that is why I'm trying to get a lot of things cleared off my to-do list. Um, for the most part, I think I'm basically ready. I just had this one really big ticket um, from this past week that has followed me throughout the week and I think there's a few other things that are rolling in actually right at this moment so I'm just looking through some of these requests that we have coming in I think I mentioned in every single work vlog that I do but it really is different a lot of times but generally it is going to be around security questions whether it's from other teams or clients yeah I think that's a big part of my to do's at least in this point of the quarter yeah I have this new ticket that I'm working on um, that actually just just came in so i'm gonna look through this see if i can get it done by today hopefully because i want to leave as little as possible for my team to take care of while i'm gone next week i'll join my meeting and then i'll probably catch up with you guys after that my call these classes make me look very uh sci-fi-ish but yeah i just finished my one-on-one -on -one. when i say my manager is the best manager i ever had i'm not lying but yeah right now we're hiring a little bit for our team so i personally right now i'm not part of the interviewing process but maybe i might be in the future doing some well personally so i guess i'm not interviewing and it's definitely very exciting to see 
kind of like the team grow and we finally getting the people that we need really good at learning experience i think um working in a team that is kind of like smaller like this so you're like you're able to get very hands-on but also be very close-knit kind of or maybe just more than a bigger company yeah i uh have some things on my to-do list i have to get done before i head out for my conference so basically i am trying to get that done i think i mentioned that already we are going to get lunch in a little bit um there's this place nearby called the jumbo jumbo cafe it's like a taiwanese cafe and they have they have like popcorn chicken and fried tempura and taiwanese noodle soup stuff like that so I'm very excited to pick up some lunch, but I'm still kind of full from breakfast. I even had to take the rest to go because I probably just eat it for dinner tonight. I feel like this lunch is also going to be very heavy because yeah, I just feel like fried foods um, are really going to make me feel very full very fast. And I also scheduled my dentist appointment. This is just adulting 101. It's also my nephew's birthday, so I texted happy birthday or I texted my sister to tell my nephew happy birthday. Of course, he doesn't have a phone yet because he's very little. Yeah, that is life right now. Um, we're probably gonna go to lunch and take you guys along. Um, I'll try to walk around. Well, we have to walk to the, the lunch place anyway. It's like a 15 minute walk from this hotel. So I will have no choice but to show you guys some of the campus, which is very fancy. Um, for those of you who don't know, I went to a city school, uh, so Temple University, and our campus was probably like a few blocks wide, three blocks wide, three blocks deep i don't know um but it wasn't very large um you could walk across it in probably about 10 minutes but for this one i don't know if it's just like a suburb thing but um basically like the whole campus it's like miles wide i think it's like one or two miles wide and like to get to like different buildings i thought i was complaining back then when i had to walk from one building in one block to another building in another block for a class but here it's like you have to take a bus to get to your next building and it's like a 10 15 minute bus ride depending on what buildings that you're going to so it is a much wider campus i guess and i'm not used to that but it's also very nice because it's very big and you have a lot of space and luca is ready to go good day all right we are walking to jumbo jumbo so excited and i think jumbo jumbo is a chain too so if you guys are looking for a taiwanese place all right guys, so this is what I mean. The campus is so big, there's literally a freaking highway in the middle of it. And you have to walk to the other side, crossing uh, this. We're really in the school core center, yeah. Uh oh. This is the elder one. Uh oh. Winter melon green tea with grass jelly. Very refreshing. No computer science building for you because it's a, apparently a 40 minute walk from here. See, this is what I mean by city school versus suburb school. If you walk fast, there maybe ain't no way minutes. we would have that. Like these are like the art, sociology, and business side. He said at my speed of walking, going to the CS school is gonna be like 40 minutes. So this is all you're gonna see. You have the student walk right, very fast. Okay, that's not that fast. Most of the time, you just take the bus. Very college, much campus. Wait, is this like the part where it leads to like the middle? I like that part. 10, 15 more minutes to the middle. Wow. We probably shouldn't do it. It's yeah. Far from yeah, I have to go back. Yeah. Alright guys, so this is the difference between our universities. We literally walk for like, what time is it? It's like 12.35 right now. 12.40, yeah. 12.40. And we headed out right around lunch. So, 40 minutes, including our walking, maybe like 10 minutes waiting for food. We are walking for 30 minutes to and from, and we only made it to like one small section of the campus. We got our food, but we forgot to ask for spicy. So uh, it's a bit underwhelming, but that's okay. It's just like a fish cake and um, I think it's air fried. But yeah, we're gonna eat. He's gonna go to the career fair soon. And I have a meeting in like 20 minutes, so. All right, so Luca just left for the career fair and I'm sitting here doing my work. Um, just got off a office hours call with my team and now I have some things I had to follow up on. I'm revealing a list of vulnerabilities. Also talked to some of my coworkers about my travel plans that are coming up. So I am very excited for those. All right guys, I am officially done work. Um, it is about 5.15 and I am kind of dead. Usually my weeks aren't this busy, but today has just been a definitely a week and um, I was talking with all my teammates in my previous office hours call and it seems like everyone's just having a crazy week this week 
so I don't know maybe it's just the time of the year I guess um, but yeah there's just a lot going on right now for my team as well as like the company itself so I think it's just because there's so many projects going on and deadlines that we have to hit and that's why things are kind of crazy but I mean obviously I'm still very grateful I get to log off at a reasonable time I mean it's still pretty much five o'clock um, I typically don't work more than eight hours a day so even during busy times I found that even when it's really really busy I can still get my work done within my allotted uh, time for work I guess and that is definitely something to note because previously I have had experiences where I that is not the case um, so yeah very grateful for that oh yeah Luca came by earlier because he took a break from the career fair apparently there's many many students there which makes sense obviously I really enjoyed career fairs back when I was in college um, I know they still made me like very nervous and I'm definitely not the best speaker when I'm just honestly the idea of a career fair is not the best because you're literally waiting in line to talk to a person at a booth and sometimes you can be waiting in line with like 10 people in front of you just waiting for 30 minutes and then you talk to them and it's a two minute conversation hi nice to meet you give me your resume <laughs> like they mark up your resume a little bit and then you kind of go on your way yeah it's definitely not the best experience per se for the person that's you know attending but i guess that's kind of how it is i actually prefer virtual prayer fairs because of that because you kind of go one-on-one -on -one into a room with one person and you have their full undivided attention without the line of people behind you because uh, they're literally staring you down and they kind of you know want to brush you along because of the fact that there's so many people in line so i mean right now the economy is like i don't know like recession not recession i guess it's a recession but like there's still hiring going on but then some companies have hiring increases so i do think that's definitely busier for these kinds of recruiting events because obviously people want to have jobs when they graduate college which makes total sense and yeah this was definitely a very interesting experience it's been nice going back on a college campus and just vibing <laughs> kind of seeing like what the students are up to which makes me feel like i sound very old even though i graduated you know just about three years ago but somehow it just makes me feel very out of place here in like a college environment i digress it's been a pretty fun time just hanging out with you guys today um i i'm probably going to close the vlog here maybe we'll get some dinner and i will record some of that but otherwise this is goodbye thank you guys so much for watching let me know in the comments if you have any questions thank you guys so much for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications i post videos every wednesdays and sundays at 12 p.m 12 p.m and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video bye